everyone, welcome to Momogi's Food Fantasy video. I'm Rin and today we are on the Food Fantasy Japan server looking at the collaboration with Sengoku Night Blood. This is phase 2 of the collaboration. It was phase 1 that took place some time back. We'll link a video for that in our description below. And so this is phase 2. Oh, yeah. So we are having phase 2 on the Japan server and phase 1 actually just started on the China server. So when phase 1 started on the China server, we heard that there are like different ways of getting the collaboration food souls that weren't on phase 1 of the Japan server. So we were wondering, hmm. But well, it seems like with phase 2, they actually are rerunning the food souls from phase 1, the two characters that appeared in phase 1. And with that, they have also added more methods to get the foot soles. Yeah. Hmm. So let's take a look at them. Hmm. So, yep. On this first banner, well, we can see uh, one is a new foot soul, Hoto, who is um, the character is Takeda Shingen, hmm. and. The one on the right is from phase one, actually. Porridge, yeah. So Porridge we have seen Toyotomi Hideyoshi. Hmm. Yeah, so these are the characters on the banner. But this this banner is for a summon drop exchange. So pretty much when we do summons, we will get this item. And we can exchange for different items. Hmm? No, I'm just thinking like yeah, wait, 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 what? <laughs> I, I was just thinking, eh? On this banner is these two characters and then when I click in, it's this guy? <laughs> this... <laughs> this is... Um, Oda Nobun Nobunaga Who is Dried Persimmon <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> They are trolling, right? <laughs> they, 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 they just, yeah, they have it as, yeah. Okay, so anyway, you can get his shots, basically, up to 30 times, which isn't actually enough to, um, because you can use shots to fuse one foot so, but usually UR, it takes around like 80 shots, is it? Yeah, anyway, 30 is definitely not enough to fuse one UR, yeah. So you still have to pull him in the gacha. But yeah, it's definitely good for ascending him once you have a copy of him. Mm. And yeah, there are challenge vouchers as well. Mm. So yeah, I'm, I have no idea what happened to the other guys on the banner, but yeah, well, okay. <laughs> oh, the banners are all baits, eh? Team up. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. I totally see what you mean. <laughs> this is a regular event that we have on... Um, I mean, this for a regular event that we have on Food Fantasy Japan. And, I mean, it's um, a team-up um, feature. And, yeah, so this banner is announcing a rate-up in the skin drop. And it's featuring two food souls that are not in... Not related to the team up whatsoever, in fact. <laughs> and we have SR of Boston Lobster, SP. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> Who did they hire to do this? <laughs> yeah, because um, this. This guy, this beautiful guy on the right, he's actually <laughs> he's actually the um, rarest rarity. At least this version of him is SP rarity, which is the new rarest rarity. And SR is the like mm -hmm. after SP is UR then SR. So mm, <laughs> having a downgrade for him like that is so sad. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's go back to the next banner for the collab. Which is this one? Okay. So yeah, <laughs> this time the characters fe 
featured are the other two characters. Yeah. The guy on the left is from Phase 2, one of the new ones in Phase 2. This is Umeboshi or Uesugi Kenshin. And the one on the right is the guy you can get shots for <laughs> in that summon drop exchange, Oda Nobunaga. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So this is a login bonus. This time you can get these, which are uh, items that you use to do the gacha. Hmm. Gacha currency for this particular collaboration banner. Hmm. Yeah, so you can get other things along the way. It's, yeah, mostly for the gacha stuff, eh? The rest are like, um, just, uh, like, small change. <laughs> yeah, only like 50 crystals and 150 embers, which, um, 150 embers is needed for a single pool for the gacha. Yeah, usually. Hmm. Okay, next! Hmm. Okay, and... This is also another, um, this is for charge event this time. Mm. So if you are charging, like spending real money, you can get, yeah, items depending on how much you charge. Yeah, so let's see. Mm. Yeah, the first three tiers are like, mm, where are the collaboration related shots. Well, let's see. We start getting them from, nope, not 5,000 yen either. Yeah, it's... Okay, well, challenge vouchers are important too. If you want to, yeah, get your character stronger. Mm. Well, the first one is Porridge at 7,000 yen. You get 15 shots of him. Yeah. And then at 10,000 yen, you get 15 shards of dried persimmon. Mm. Mm, by the way, exchange rate I think is roughly 100 yen to 1 USD. Roughly there. Yeah. And ooh, 20,000 is 35 shards of porridge. So porridge and dried persimmon are both from the phase 1 of this collaboration. So the phase 2 characters start at 30,000 yen. Get 35 shots of this is Hoto, yeah. And then at 40,000, you get Umeboshi and 40 shots of him, as well as a nice frame. Oh, mm, this frame is quite nice. Yeah, it's like a sword, too. But the sword looks like it's like, why, why, okay, I guess, yeah. It's like cutting the avatar, but like you are like pulling it back. Eh? I guess it's um, not as good to step forward. <laughs> Just like, mm, okay, drawing it back. Mm. Okay, mm, a little like the the number of shots that you can get is a little like um like different for. I wonder how they decide who gets how many shots. Like since he has forty, whereas he only gets fifteen, or maybe is it balanced out by? that summon drop exchange since it's the only one who appeared in the summon drop exchange oh wait but porridge has 50 shots you can get 50 shots of porridge hmm. uh, 15 plus 35 50 yeah feels like hmm, all uneven uh, so it's arbitrary yeah and then there are of course gacha these are the gacha banners this one. Hmm. Let's go and take a look at the gacha. Okay, so this is the rerun gacha. We have seen these characters already. Yeah. So hmm. this this time, um, is it a different format? I forgot how it was last time. Ah, yes, yes, there was a swap gacha involved. So this time it's like you choose a which character you want, one of the two. And after choosing, you have a pool that is like, you know, let's see. 
Yep, so you'll get a pool that features them as the rate up. Yep, so after you choose either one of them, you'll get a pool that features the one that you selected as the rate up character. So only that single one in that pool. So this is the rate. So the benefit of that is also that after 100 pulls, it's guaranteed that you'll get one copy. So yeah, if you haven't got one, you'll at least get one copy after 100 pulls. So this is so it's, the rest of it seems the same. It's just the one that you're choosing that differs. So this is for the phase one one. We have looked at their characters in the phase one video. Let's check out phase two. Yeah, so these are the new characters. This gacha is of the same format. Hmm. Oh, they're both tanks, eh? Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Hey, let's see. <laughs> no, it's an. I'm interesting in the sense of. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting choice. Like, they are both tanks. Mm. Hey. Yeah, the chibi is very cute. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Animation. Okay, running. Ooh, not bad. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, I was thinking so too. <laughs> Actually, just seeing his animation like this, I totally forgot that he's a tank. For a tank that is. That looks very aggressive. <laughs> I <I'm> like. <laughs> He's a strength type, right? He's totally a strength type. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and this is his five star portrait, ascended portrait. Yeah. Does it? I, I think it does look um grander than the initial one. Mm. Yeah, about the same. Okay, and oh, let's see. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, this preferred fallen angel is Okimochi. Is what? Uh, Okimochi and Okimochi and Hans. Yep. Yeah. So this is actually one of the stronger fallen angels. One of the two stronger fallen angels. Hmm. Yeah. So let's see his basic skill. Hmm. Damages nearest enemy uh, with extra damage. Hmm. It's, yeah, hundred percent of his own attack. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, let me just clarify that uh, damages nearest enemy with hundred percent of his own attack and also um, creates extra damage and at the same time he reduces the damage received by his whole party yeah all his allies by five percent and this effect lasts for three seconds mm. he does sound like quite a attacker thing and this is for his energy skill oh he Attacks all enemies, mm. and there's also extra damage. Oh, and at the same time, he also recovers fifteen percent of HP. Yeah, his lost HP. Oh, he wait. He recovers his lost HP by is it fifteen percent of his HP? Or is it his the lost HP? Yeah, because they they mentioned about the lost HP, but then also yeah, they wouldn't write lost HP if they mean full HP, right? But yeah, 
this the Japan server, so sometimes they may be a little well, yeah. Well, you'll find out if you get his character. <laughs> yeah, fifteen percent of max may not be very impressive either. Hmm. Yeah, seems like it will be more like if you want someone who can attack while defending something. Oyster does that too. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. So if you like that character. Mm. Okay. Oh, he doesn't have a link skill. So let's see. Next. Wait, wait, wait. But didn't the other two guys not have a, like, have a question mark for the link skills? So if, if it's not with these two, then who is it with? Oh, true, true, true. That's true. Yeah, it can be a one sided link. Okay. Let's go and just take a peek at them later. Okay, and next, let's check out. This is Umeboshi. Hmm, Uesugi Kenshin. Yeah, Umeboshi is pickled Japanese plum, by the way. Hey, oh, this one, his is Spectra, right? This fallen angel. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Let's see his animation. He looks very cute. Running, whacking. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's also a tank. Yeah, he looks like a magic type tank. <laughs> also another attacking tank. <laughs> okay, let's see. He looks like another aggressive tank. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this is his. Oh, yeah. His ascended fake doesn't look as impressive as I would expect to. <laughs> Ouch! Still says he feels like he descended rather than ascended. <laughs> Yeah, this actually looks nicer, I think. Mm. Okay, let's see what are his skills. Mm. Oh, so for him, eh? He, mm. <laughs> this is interesting. Ah, he recovers own HP by three hundred points, as well as. Charms random enemies, uh, three, three enemies, yeah, three random enemies for two seconds. Hmm. And this was his basic skill. Hmm. Sounds not bad. I mean, like as in like, um, I mean the thing that charms, eh? Yeah. Yeah, and keeps healing himself. Actually, sounds pretty good for a CC. Yeah, if you have a if you have a high speed like uh, yeah, a speed fallen angel. Hmm. So he charms with the sound of his music. Seems. Hmm. And for his energy skill. Hmm. So this is the attacking part. Yeah. <laughs> he attacks all enemies, and with additional damage, as well as oh, buffs allies. Buffs damage of all allies by 5% and this effect lasts for 4 seconds. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh. So he does his skills does seem like a more supportive type, yeah. I mean healing himself and buffing his allies. Hmm. I I believe he's a tank. <laughs> like and I believe he's yeah more a tank than yeah. The other guy's skill seems more aggressive, attacking. Uh, yeah, he seems more like yeah, a uh, supporting tank. Yeah, could support your party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see now. Oh yeah. Although by the way, I didn't mention before that I did. It's a noodle soup with vegetables from the Yamanashi region. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's Let's see. Eh? 
the thing skills are gone now. Eh? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Did we imagine that there are link skills? I, I don't think so, right? I thought th I thought there are link skills. Hmm? There's no change, right? There's, this one's still the same. Yeah. Looks the same. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is for the gacha that appeared after the maintenance. There are also some upcoming gachas of different formats. So on the 29th of January, there's a gacha which has bonuses with depending on the number of times you pull. And on the 4th of February, there's a soap gacha. Yeah. Which includes all four characters. Oh yeah, the one on the 29th January says that it only includes Hoto and Umeboshi, I think. The new the phase two characters, I believe. I believe that's what it says because yeah at least it didn't mention the phase one characters hmm. oh and one more thing I forgot to just look at what is needed for this gacha yeah so we can buy them with embers as well and crystals as well as cash hmm. but the embers and crystals are limited to 100 times at least it's the regular amount, 150 for one item. And the cash ones. Yeah, but only 100 times each. Just enough for you to get one character, one of the, like the, one copy at least. I mean, of course, you may get more. Mm. If you buy both, yeah, you can get both copies. Okay, and this one is the same, right? Let's see. Ah, this one, yeah. So yeah, it's the same thing anyway. Yeah, just different items. Hmm. Limited to 100. Thanks for both embers and crystals. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, that's all for phase 2 that we know of. Mm. And yeah, all for this video. I'm glad that they decided to add more ways to get these characters because the, the first the first time that phase one came I think it was like yeah only getting them by gacha was a little well boring in a sense mm, oh yeah crystal okay now it's also like by crystal and gacha eh? well it's slightly better oh yes oh yes now I remember yeah um Phase 1 was on a crystal only gacha, yes. Yes, so at least... Yeah, we didn't pull at all then. So at least now there's a possibility of getting by getting them by embers as well. Yeah, which makes it better for... Well, players who are well, saving embers. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because crystals are yeah things that you need to pay for, so... Um, well, other than saving them, you have you can buy them. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. It actually would be more interesting even if they can like do even more activities with these collaboration characters, though. I mean, I'm just thinking of the um the team pop team epic event collaboration event that was on the China server. Yeah. They had more activities that were involving the collaboration characters, and I thought that was that was really yeah, that was really nice. Yeah, I agree. That's a lot of effort though. Yeah, designing stages. Yeah, so can't have it for every collab. Yeah. So, but anyway, these are still nice characters. It's nice. Isn't it? Nice that they have these four and they look cute as well to have on your team. Look pretty impressive as well. Eh? Yeah, the chibis look cute, I mean. <laughs> yep, so that's all for this video. If you enjoyed our video, like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!